Alright, what's up internet? Today we're reviewing the Dell SE2717HR. And I'm not a professional reviewer. I have not spent a bajillion hours in front of a million monitors. I don't keep up with their latest specs and things like that. But I do run Hardware Sugar and we see a lot of different tech going through the shop. And for this particular monitor, I used it extensively during the Manila lockdown. And I used it as a secondary monitor for work. So that was basically around two months or eight to ten weeks of using this monitor. So this is not a wham bam, thank you ma'am. I used it for two hours and then rushed off to the internet to expound on my thoughts and things like that. I spent a lot of time with this monitor and here are my thoughts. So for the aesthetics and the structure, aesthetics are quite nice actually. It has a nice gray base which sets it apart from a lot of different monitors where everything is all black. And then the spine of the monitor has a hole in it. You know, it's kind of like a postmodern artsy thing. And you don't really see it when you're using it. But imagine like this monitor is in the office of your boss. And when you enter the office, the back is facing to you and you see the hole. So it's a nice trendy monitor for upscale offices or for a tech startup. It would be right at home in that kind of environment with this aesthetic. I appreciate that it has physical buttons that are easy to find. Again, some other manufacturers, their buttons are, you know, they have the LG where there's just one button left and you have to wiggle around you, and you have to use that one button to interface with all of the different menus. Some manufacturers hide their buttons to make the monitors look sleeker, but they did it so well that the user can't find the buttons when he needs them. It's not like this in this monitor. The buttons are straightforward, easy to find, easy to use. You can't adjust the height or the angle of the monitor. So basically, once you put it on its stand, that is all the... the you have no other option as to viewing angle or height or things like that. It is fixed like that. On display quality, display quality actually is pretty darn good. The text was very crisp and I enjoyed the typing using it. And video actually was very good. I reviewed another ASUS gaming monitor and the video, I played one video on both monitors and the Dell, which is not a gaming monitor, actually had better video quality. There wasn't any noticeable grain when I was watching video on the Dell. According to the spec sheet, this monitor tops out at 48 hertz and what's a hertz? Why, why is a hertz important? One hertz is basically one frame per second. So you want a higher number, a higher number is better for Hertz. It just means that how many times can an image be redrawn on the screen? So for 60 Hertz, the image is redrawn 60 times per second. This monitor tops out at 48 Hertz and honestly I was a bit surprised because usually I want my monitors at least at 72 Hertz. Anything lower than that, sometimes I get a headache or sometimes I, you know, I get eye strain. But using this monitor for hours on end, I didn't even realize it was 48 hertz. I, I only found that out when I looked up the specs for this review. I, I had no problems with it, no eye strain, no headache, no nothing. So really quite a good monitor. I don't know, is it really 48 hertz? <laughs> That's what the specs say. But you know, whatever its refresh rate is, I, I had no problems with it and I, I'd use it I would use it and I did use it for hours on end. The screen size is 27 inches and for me, that is the ideal size for an office monitor. I love the LG32 which I reviewed, you know, a, 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 while, a while back. But I, I, even I have to admit 32 inches is quite a lot. I mean, you're staring at the screen and it's really like in your face and sometimes you're, you feel like you're gonna get sunburned from the screen because it's so large and it's so close to you. But 27 inches is, you know, just perfect. It's large enough that, you know, you can be useful and productive. You can have different windows open at the same time. But it's not large enough that you have to squint at the text. So 27 inches, very ideal for an office setup. One weird thing I did notice about the display quality, sometimes when I would load a web page, the, the screen would darken for maybe like a split second while the page was loading. It's not really, it wasn't a big deal for me. It didn't detract from my experience of using the monitor. I, I don't know if it was some weird power saving thing or something or other. It wouldn't happen all the time as well when I was page loading. It also wouldn't happen in any other program. So it wasn't a big deal for me. I'm just noting it for the purposes of the review. 
Also just noting for the purposes of the review, this is an IPS screen. Some people care about that. I really, you know, it doesn't matter to me if IPS, TN, whatever, as long as I like the image quality. But, you know, just saying it that it is an IPS screen. Final thoughts, this is a bit pricey for an office monitor, especially in the Philippines where an office monitor usually means an itsy bitsy 18 incher and you really gotta, you know, it's like super small. But for, you know, this would be a good present for a boss that you want to butter up. It would be ideal in a high-end office. And it is very good for what it is. And you do get the quality that you pay for. So overall, I'm quite happy with this Dell 27-incher. Unfortunately, I will no longer be using it because I am passing it on to our graphics and graphics artist slash video editor who will be able to make use of its bright screen and good color display uh, much more than me. So that was the Dell SE2717HR. Thanks for watching. So I hope that these basic tips help you. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like and hit the subscribe button. For your PC needs, consider buying from us Hardware Sugar at Lazada or on our website. You can find links in the description below. And thank you for watching. See you next video.